haven't been able to help my six-year-old learn how to ride a bike yet because I can't keep up with them, you know, and I want to be able to do things like that. Also, I just was diagnosed recently with diabetes. 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 is Kelly P. Um, she's on her next Wednesday at Palms. Oh, oh this is the uh, contest the contest winner, mm -hmm. right? Okay, yes. so she's going to be getting uh, a lap band, um, and we're doing her with Spider, right? Yes, we are. Okay, mm -hmm. and and we're going to do that through the belly button. So she's going to have the one the one scarf. She wants to go home same day. She's going to be overnight. She's going to spend just observation. Okay, all right. So she's thirty nine years old. Her height is five eleven. 257 pounds and her BMI is 37. Yes. Okay, so um, any other concerns with her? No, she has diabetes and depression. She's di That's right, she told me she started mm -hmm. a new medication for her diabetes recently, so I think that was her real driving force for wanting to have the surgery. Okay, so all right, so contest winner and she's on the board for next week for a spider, right? Yes. Okay, great. Alright, Miss Kelly, come on. How are you? Good. 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 Ready when you are. Okay. Step up and just wait for that to beat before you step back down. Perfect. So you met your goal for surgery, which is Yay. fabulous. Alright, we're gonna switch rooms and we're gonna go back and have you wait for Dr. Jesse and Desi. You want to live? surgery because they will um, be higher in protein than a lot of the stuff you're getting. So it okay. has 15 grams of protein. Oh, all right. So you can mix it with water um, and then it's all sharpened too. So you can squirt out some of those bariatric right. for us. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, everything does have 15 grams of protein. Um, so there's, I think there's a jello, a shake, and some oatmeal. Yeah, I like oatmeal and sugar. I like that. Yeah. So that's all things you'll have, be able to have right after surgery. Oh, I'll be able to have this summer. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yep. So it'll be in that full liquid stage. Okay. So that's why I said it's nice because it keeps you fuller longer. Yes. All right. Kelly, how are you doing? Jesse. How are you? This is my sister Rachel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You ready? Yes. I'm okay. ready. All right. So I, I know Desi talked to you about everything. Yes. Um, we're all set for next Wednesday. Yes, we are. And we're going to be doing the uh, surgery with the spider instrument, right? Yes, we are. So we're going to do it with one incision. And hopefully surgery will go maybe an hour and a half, two hours. Okay. Uh, after you go to the recovery room for an hour or so, and you hang out in the one day area for a couple more hours, you'll be ready to go home after that. Okay, it okay, sounds great. So basically in and out the same day with the spider instrument. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, good. All right, thank All you, right. Dr. Jesse. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Um, well, I moved to Tampa probably about um, a year ago, and um, everything seemed to be falling in place in my life. Um, except my weight. My weight was the one thing that was holding me back. I have um, two, well, a 12 year old and a six year old boy, and they're very active. And um, I haven't been able to help my six year old learn how to ride a bike yet because I can't keep up with them, you know. And 
I want to be able to do things like that. Also, I just was diagnosed recently with diabetes. And um, when doing some research on it, I realized how serious this is. And it really gave me a kickstart into uh, wanting to take care of myself for, for myself and for my children. I want to be around to see them graduate, get married, be a grandma. I want to see all the, be able to experience all these things. And also, um, I, w I don't feel very confident at this weight. It's not something I'm happy with. And I just want to be happy within my own skin. And um, I've tried for two or three years now to, to uh, through my health insurance, to try to get a, a lap band. And I wasn't able to. And so when I saw this contest, I thought it was a uh, just a sign. And, and where did you see it? Where did, I, how did you find out about it? Actually, I heard it um, on the radio a couple different times. Okay. And um, did you think you'd ever win the contest? You know, I had a feeling I would. Really? I really? really? Most people say I never I, would have dreamt in a million years. I, well, I mean, I was so I was very surprised. I but I just had this feeling like you really need to go for this. You really and, need to do this. And this is, this is all. This is falling into place. And this is your. Destiny. It sounds really weird, but that's really how I felt. And and ha and when you got picked as one of the three finalists, oh my god, I was like, oh, this is, you know, because I was starting to, all these things were going through my head. Oh, I'm getting chills, and I was starting to <laughs> doubt, you know, oh well, you know, if, if this wasn't meant to be, then you know, because I was waiting for the phone call, waiting to hear anything, and, right. and then I got that phone call, and I was just like, wow, th this is a, a really good chance. This is a reality. I could be. I could actually do this. I mean, I. You know, I thought there was a possibility, but then when I was one of the three finalists, I knew I had to do, you know, I was really ready to, to work for it. Sounds like you're really prepared. That's I'm great. I'm excited, yes. I want to hear from you, you know, what do you plan on doing that's going to help you be successful with this great tool that Palms of Pasadena has given you? I think I'm going to start off with a lot of walking. Okay. Um, we've actually, my sons and I have scoped out some parks around, and uh, so they have a lot of biking and walking areas, so we're going to be doing that together as a family okay. and um, I feel uh, maybe I also joined the YMCA okay, great. my sister did too so we'll be trying to, to get that in the treadmill and work, slow, slowly starting to working out uh, for about 30 days I don't want you bending over and lifting up any heavy weights or anything okay. your weight restriction is going to be about 30 pounds for that first month okay um, no sit-ups or crunches during that time too and I'm not sure if they have a pool, but no swimming for the first two weeks. Okay. Okay? Because you're only going to have one little incision inside your belly button, and we'll take that out about two weeks after surgery, and then you'll be free to, to get in the swimming pool. Okay, great. Okay? That's great. And then after a month, you'll be able to do any weight training or anything you want to do. Okay. Okay? All right. Sounds good. I'm right. ready for it. Sounds like you're really prepared. And then you get to put it in, in the oh, jar. Tic -tac. And then at the, we add them up every month to so keep a total of how much combined everybody's lost. So wow. just kind of Right. Right in here. I think that's six. Very good. All right. Thank you. Okay. Good luck with surgery. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Any questions or anything? Just Okay, I will. Alrighty. Alright, thank Thanks. you. Take care. Okay, bye bye.